Aotearoa is surrounded by 15,000 kilometres of coastline. Lifelong boatie Sarah Al's new book, Ocean, Tales of Voyaging and Encounter That Defines New Zealand, details just how much our cultural identity and our history is firmly anchored to the ocean. And some of us like it so much we get anchor tattoos. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for joining us, Sarah. Oh, thank you for having me. Absolute pleasure. Now, you grew up around the ocean, didn't you? And you've had a lifelong passion for boats. What is it that you love about sailing and boats? I think for me, being brought up as a child on Auckland's North Shore, we were always at the beach, and I've always been able to walk to the beach and just play around, be with the waves. I think for me, even now as an adult, I feel a great sense of, of peace and contentment. Um, for me, and being involved in yacht racing, I really enjoy that camaraderie, being with a team, working together to achieve a goal, and, um, and also that sense of... Um, the idea that you can get through difficulties and, and succeed. You know, yeah. sometimes yachting is like yeah. boring or cold yes. or, you know, <laughs> or slow. Yeah. Yeah. Everything and that Sarah's saying, I totally agree with, by the way, and it goes for me as well, just so you know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so I get such a sense of satisfaction out of that. Mm. And speaking of goals achieved, well done on a beautiful book. You're a journalist by trade. Yeah. What made you want to put together this? I think it really brought together my two passions when I was talking with the publishing company um, about the fact they were looking at a book around the, um, the 250 years of, of Cook next year, first coming to New Zealand, and they wanted to have something about an oceanic theme, and they said, oh, we're going to have something a bit nautical. I'm like, yes, I'm your woman, yeah, because yeah. it brings together my passion for the sea, but also my passion for New Zealand history. Mm. Um, I, I love New Zealand stories. I love the idea of bringing people's stories to life. You know, history isn't dry and isn't boring. It's about people and about their experiences, and that's what I really wanted to yeah. get across in this book. So what do you cover? In it. Well, everything really. What don't you yeah, cover? Yeah. yeah, so really it's, it's, a, it's a broad sweep right from Māori um, and their relationship with the sea and, and coming to New Zealand and that, yeah, that very intimate relationship that Māori have with the sea, spiritual relationship. Mm -hmm. um, and then through the, the early Europeans that came here, the first settlers, the first people that came here to exploit our resources here, whales and seals and kauri. Um, you know, all the stories of New Zealand's history are actually tied in with the sea because, you know, the sea was the only way to get here. Everyone came on ships. You know, and still people, the first person flew here, I think, in the 1920s. Everyone before that came on a ship, everything came on a ship. Mm. Yeah, and a lot of our cultural identity is defined by the ocean, isn't it? How and who have you used to tell some of these stories? You know, I've tried to really draw on stories from throughout the whole period. I've done two things. I'm telling historical stories, so there's people like the, the woman who was the first and only female lighthouse keeper in New Zealand. Great. Her husband was the original lighthouse keeper he drowned and so she thought oh, I might as well keep going she had six children in a leaky house on the cliffs above Pencaro and it literally was a lighthouse she had a candle that she put in the window that was the that was <laughs> oh the lighthouse um, and then and also people like Count von Luckner in the First World War who was um, captured up in the Pacific he was a German raider who was captured and interned on Motuhi Island here in the Haraki Gulf that's a fascinating had a, story had a, had a daring escape it's fabulous he was very charming mm. um, he ingratiated himself with the people running the camp and he um, he convinced them that they should have a, a Christmas play that involved props like a sextant and a map and a, a flag. Um, and then they one night they cut the telephone cable to Auckland and hived off in the Commandant's launch. Um, Somebody that, needs to make a movie about oh, that. absolutely. Uh, and yeah. also you've got um, my friends Bex and Bex and Benos in the book too because they do. were in a shipwreck on a boat called Django and Cookie as well in the bottom there. So yeah. that's obviously near and dear to my heart too. That was a pretty, uh, pretty har harrowing time. Yeah, so what I wanted to do, as well as the historical stories, is include contemporary stories of New Zealanders whose lives have been shaped by the sea. So people like yacht designer, lifelong yacht designer, John Lidgard, um, Bex and Benno, because I thought I've got a chapter on shipwrecks. I know some people who have been shipwrecked and they have a fabulous story um, of survival, is, an incredible it story. It is amazing. It is an incredible book. Yeah, and beautiful. if you want to get your hands on it, you should. It's a great Chrissy Frizzy too. Our series book, Ocean, is available now at all great bookshops or online stores as well. Thank you so much. No, thank yes, you. I think it's the perfect gift that the Prime Minister should be giving to every single visitor yes. that comes Ex to the country. Excellent idea. Yeah. You know, Jacinda.